Hello, I'm Ellie for Edu for Java, and this is tutorial number 14 of uh, Java for Beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to override a method and the words protected and super. We have seen public, uh, private, and and now we are going to take a look at protected, which is another word which works with visibility. Let's start by summarizing what we did in the tutorial 13. Based on that, we're going to make modifications to learn how to override a method. The first thing we did in the last tutorial was extend from the class dog. We had this class with its properties and we wanted to include a new property, but we couldn't change this class doc, so we created a new class doc2 with a new property we wanted, portion. And we extended it from doc, so we could now use the properties a method of the parent class doc in doc2, just as we, as we have them written inside our class doc2. Here in the main method, the first thing we did was insert doc, which returned. Let's see what insert doc does. It returns doc to an array doc. This method used the data from four lists, if you remember. One for the names, one for the colors, one for the weights, and one for the portions. We fill the list of docs. Going to the empty dog array we had created in the first line here, and then setting the name, the color, the weight, and the portion with each list we had names, color, etc. After that, we printed the dogs and then we fed them, updating the weight with the weight before eating plus the portion of each one which corresponded to each dog. And lastly, what we did was we printed the dogs again with a new weight after eating. Let's run the program. We can now notice here that there's something strange here in the printing. We don't have the portion of each dog. This is because this is printed by the method print dog on console, this one here. What it does, it goes to the array of dogs and prints, prints each one of them. If we control click on print to console, we go where the method is defined. And as you can see, it is in defined in the class dog, not in dog2. And although we are using the array docs, which as you can see here is of the type doc2, doc2 extends from doc and print to console is in this class, in doc. We would like to include the property portion in this method, but it doesn't make sense because dog doesn't have this property portion. So what we should do is write it in the method, write the method in doc2. Okay, let's write, copy this code. Here we have some errors. Let's see. It says that the property color is not visible from this method. What happened here? The property color is defined here in dog and we wrote private and as we saw before this means it can only be accessed from this class here and any other class can't access even if it inherits, even if it's its child class like dog2. Doc2 is called child class of doc because it extends from it. Doc is the par parent class. So we can't 
access directly. We can access to the method get column like this. This is because get color is a public method and the same with wait. Until now we have a method that does just exactly the same as the one in the parent class. We're going to write a method with the same name so that it overrides it. And we're going to add a new property. Let's take out the line here. And we're going to copy the code from here. Here we can write this portion because we can access directly because it's in the same class. Notice, notice that this method is overriding the method in doc. It's called in the same way. It is going to annul this one here. Okay, let's see if this is true. Let's run the program. As you can see, it now prints portion. What happened? This method here overrides the method of the parent. Learn and when it's called with the same name, it receives the same amount of parameters. Here it's none, but if in the other method it's none too, so it's the same amount. And it returns the same type, we say that this method has, has the same signature as this one here. From Java 1.5 onwards, we can write annotation annotations with in this way. This annotation tells us that this method overrides a method in the parent class. If we, for example, want to write override in this method here, it gives us it gives us an error. It says the method set portion of type doc2 must override or implement a super type method. In this case of the parent class, it's talking about. And in this case, set portion only exists in doc2. So we can't do this. Okay, now let's take a look at the word protected. As I said before, the properties name, weight and color can't be accessed from outside the class, nor from its child class, as we've seen here, because it says private. But if we wrote protected, for example, for color, it means that we can access color from its child class, but not from outside any other class. This is good because it is still protected, but not from its child classes. With this change, we can access from the method in this way. This color. Okay, we can do something else to improve this code. These three lines here are repeated. It would be good if we could execute this method from DOC and not write them again. See that they're exactly the same as here. And we don't want to repeat code. What we do is write super dot print to console. And there we are. We have already seen the word this, uh, the keyword this, which pointed to the object we were using. Super is just like this, but it points to the parent class. In this case, doc. In this case, super dot print to console is pointed, pointing to this print to console. Let's run and see if everything is okay. Okay. Here we can see 
it prints the same. Except that in print console, print to console of dog, we have a print line in the last line, which is making that portion here is in the next line. Let's leave it like this to avoid complicating this method for now. Okay, with, with this we finish this tutorial. I hope you've learned something today. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!